Wow, full house. Hi, everyone. I'm Nona Jansen Walls. I head up um, enterprise data and analytics for Lionsgate Studios, including our associated brands, Stars, the cable channel, Pilgrim Studios, as well as our joint ventures and partnerships like the new Kevin Hart LOL Calmedy channel, um, Comic Con HQ, Tribeca Shortlist, and about 40 different TV productions that are on about as many cable channels. Really happy to be here today. It's been a great conference so far. Um, I'm very honored to introduce Kelly Mungary. Kelly is our director of Big Data. He runs everything Big Data at Lionsgate. He's been with us three short years, and in those short years, he's managed to expand our big, data, um, our big data organization and our big data architecture from almost nothing to self-service BI, to data in the cloud, some stuff on-prem. Um, part of what he does, and, and one of the reasons that he's able to do that is he's very dynamic, and you'll, you'll see that in a minute, but he's very interested and curious about new technologies. And so he's always proposing and doing proof of concepts on new platforms, new tools. Some of them make it through, some of them don't. Um, and because of that, we're able to really leverage some of, the new, uh, some of the new ideas and the new platforms that are coming out. So it's my honor to introduce Kelly Mungary. Thank you, Nona. Uh, well, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Kelly Mungary. I'm the uh, director of enterprise data and analytics at Lionsgate uh, Studios. And, um, you know, uh, it's my honor to be here talking with you today because I think that um, uh, in today's age where we're uh, experiencing a data explosion with natural language processing and AI and AR uh, and on and on, uh, coupled with the uh, new attitude of uh, that we all have. Some say it's the millennials. It's not. It's us also. It's everyone in this room. We, we want it now. Uh, we want it all. And we want it when we want it. And we want to be able to change our minds. Uh, so you couple all of this together, uh, the data explosion that's happening uh, due to data science and technology and so forth, along with this attitude, uh, you know, you, 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 it leaves you thinking, how do I build a data-driven culture around uh, uh, that, all those expectations, and so on. Well, you know, uh, it, it, other industries like your CRM, your ETL providers, your master data management uh, have found ways to introduce SaaS solutions, right? S uh, software as a service in the cloud, and they're doing a really good job of it. I think the evolution uh, for all of us in the data space today has to do with uh, moving to uh, a true cloud SaaS solution for data warehousing, for big data. And uh, the reason I'm actually here speaking uh, with you today, and we're gonna cover a lot, guys. We'll cover some entertainment, we'll talk about streaming and, and, and quite a few things, um, is, um, the reason I'm here talking to you today is because uh, I was on a quest. I, I wanted to find the future. I wanted to know what, what's next with, with big data and, and data storage and, and, and analytics. And I was through probably my third proof of concept, and, uh, and I was just frustrated. I'm like, there, you know, there's nothing out there. there what I want, you know, I want, I want instant, I, I want to be able to spin up and configure a data warehouse instantly. I want to be able to share data and, 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 and uh, discouple the compute uh, so that, that my data science team can run all the queries they want along with the production guys and, and, and transactions still flowing through. I wanted to be able to land you know, semi-structured and structured data. I wanted the XML coming in, I wanted the JSON coming in. I didn't want to have an entire team parsing that data and making it uh, uh, accessible for reporting. So I had a pretty long list of things I was interested in. So I'm going to talk to you today about Snowflake a little bit, and we're, we're, we're going to get into that uh, in a minute. But the story goes is that Snowflake, uh, and those, there's two groups in the room. Those of you that have heard of Snowflake, you're already using Snowflake, and you're in awe. And there's those of you here today that haven't heard of it yet. And, and I encourage you that, uh, to listen today and then uh, do your own research and, and, and see how you can integrate this awesome uh, data warehousing technology at your company. So Snowflake was my last proof of concept. They showed up at Lionsgate. I was already frustrated, three weeks into proof of concepts. And, and they walk in, they sit down, and they said, OK, Kelly, what is it you want to do? And I give them the list that I just gave you. 
And it was, what frustrated me the most is the last POC I came off of was a, a, a cloud solution that had a 35 page deck set up and after a week it still wasn't running in terms of a, of a, of a columnar storage uh, data warehouse, a massive parallel processing system. So I thought, that's it, I'm done, I'm throwing the towel in. So I give them my requirements, I get up, I go get some coffee, still frustrated, I come back into the room, I think I was gone maybe 10 minutes, and they had a data warehouse up and running. Uh, and it, uh, you know, I, I, first of all, I didn't, I didn't think it was real. I'm like, oh, we're in the matrix here, or what's going on, right? So, um, but as we proved it out, indeed it was up and running. And not only was that up and running, but they had spun up two data warehouses, one to do uh, for the, the load compute and one for the read compute. So that started my relationship, Alliancegate's uh, relationship with Snowflake. All right, so, um, you know, with 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 AWS and Snowflake, uh, we as as data executives and architects, and now can have it all. We can do anything we'd like to do. Things that the business always wanted, we can now say yes. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more in a second. Um, okay, let's talk about going beyond big data. Uh, uh, wh what do you do with big data? Why? You know, as everybody always talks about, we've got big data. We have a big data solution. But let's go beyond that and talk about it a little bit. Uh, we're going to talk about technologies, new technologies, success, and the future. Uh, and please stay to the end if you can, because I'm going to give my contact information. I really want to hear your success stories after we're done, because I know there's going to be plenty of them. So we'll stay in contact and, 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 and talk about some of the, the things as you work through them. All right, so I work for Lions, Lionsgate, um, uh, and you can see some of the things we do here. We're, we are... Um, not only, uh, not only do we make movies like uh, you know, La La Land and, uh, and Hunger Games, but we have a whole conglomerate of entertainment offerings. So as you see some of the things on the screen here, uh, stars, uh, we, um, uh, we purchased stars, I think last year, big acquisition for us. Uh, uh, they, it brings a lot to the table, to the Lionsgate brand. You guys may see, under, see some of these names, uh, 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 Power, um, uh, Outlander, All Stars um, uh, titles. Um, uh, hopefully, some of you saw All Eyes on Me, the Tupac Shakur uh, uh, movie, and I could go on and on. And we saw uh, uh, Jigsaw. We just released. The point of it is, is that if you look up here, we are into a lot of different things, and this is why we needed Slow Snowflake, uh, and we needed the solution now. We needed it today, and um, uh, so. Some of the, you know, we have streaming channels. So you guys are all familiar with Hulu, Netflix, so forth. Well, Lionsgate has launched their own streaming channels. Um, and uh, um, along with what we're doing with the STARS acquisition. So what comes with that? Well, we've got, you know, marketing data, streaming data, co uh, content consumption data, billing data, platform performance data, partner data, player data, fan data. So uh, what are you going to do with all that data? How, you know, you know the, the nightmare you would have trying to coalesce all of that information and, and, and blend it in your traditional data warehouses, even some of your traditional uh, 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 cloud-based data warehouses. All right, and not to mention that it's coming in every fashion and format. They're structured, unstructured. We've got JSON, XML, uh, uh, and, and, and so on. Okay, that's a little bit about Lionsgate and what we're doing. Next slide. There we go. All right. So we're going to talk about a few things today. We're going to talk about a data-driven culture. This is, this is one of the biggest questions people walk up to me and ask me. They, they're like, Kelly, that's you know, a great concept, but we've tried it many times. And every time we've attempted it, there's been a snag. There's been you know, a, a business communication and so forth. We're going to talk about that a little bit. Improving your odds. Um, Statistically, uh, uh, implementations of data warehouses and business intelligence systems have a very high rate of failure. This is published by your watchdogs like Gartner and so forth, uh, and there's reasons for that. We're going to talk. We're going to talk a little bit about how to eliminate those reasons and make you successful. Uh, showcasing your return on investment. It's important to be able to articulate that. That's the most common phrase you hear from the business. They'll, they'll be like, yeah, you know, IT is just a, a big black hole of where data, uh, data uh, where, where money goes in and nothing comes out. Well, that's not true anymore. With uh, the advent of, of, of uh, big data uh, uh, and, and business intelligence, some of the data science uh, offerings that are available today, 
uh, teach how it works. This is the biggest and one of the most important things that we're going to talk about today is you have to be able to articulate to your business what you're doing. So there's a couple, you have to speak two languages. You've got to speak your tech language and the business language. We'll talk about that. And then secrets of success. I've been doing this for 20 plus years, banking, finance, and most recently in entertainment. And there's three or four secrets to success that will uh, I've seen, and again, this is going way back in time, and I'm not gonna tell you what company or where. where we were seven, 11, $20 million into data warehousing and business intelligence projects, and there, there was something missing. We weren't getting over the hump. Well, back in the days, again, going back to the 90s when I started doing this, there are reasons that we, that we weren't getting over the hump, and we fixed those reasons. Those are documented reasons that you can actually find statistically online now. We'll talk about that a little bit. Um, okay. Da -da -da -da, what else? Architecture. Okay. So here's the other thing. Uh, you know, if you guys have heard the, the, the term uh, big data a lot. You know, it's not mis... I've been in meetings, and again, going back in time, I won't say exactly where or when. I'm under a ton of NDAs, by the way, guys, so we're going to generalize a little bit. Um, I've mentioned the, the term big data, and, and I've had people raise their hands and go, well, we, we don't want big brother. I said, no, no, I didn't say big brother, it's big data. So when we start throwing terminologies out there as we build these data-driven uh, cultures like big data, like cloud, you know, is it in the cloud? Where's the cloud? Uh, like time travel, which is a feature in Snowflake that's very interesting. I've already lost 90% of the business. They're like, Kelly, you're just talking craziness. What does all this stuff mean? So you gotta be able to articulate what's happening in your, in your big data agenda to, to drive your culture. Um, okay. So let's move on. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we talked about this earlier, and that is the fact that you're, uh, there's reasons that as you start to roll out your business intelligence and your data warehousing solutions, that they fail. And again, these percentages, you guys can fact check me, go online, look at Gartner over the years and other watchdogs. These are the types of, of, of numbers that they're presenting. It's not one industry, it's across the board. Uh, there's a neglect, insuff uh, insufficient planning, a lack of expertise, uh, uh, you know, we go on and on, uh, wrong technology, uh, uh, integration issues, ease of use. I can tell you categorically as you look at this list that most of you in the audience have experienced a lot of this. With AWS and with Snowflake, you basically eliminate a majority of this and put yourself in the success category. Okay, we'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, so, you know, as an executive, as an architect at your company, do you want, are you, is it, do those odds scare you? They scare me, really. So what do I do to put myself in the winning category? And well, that's, again, go, uh, embracing partners like AWS and Snowflake and, and some of the forward-thinking uh, concepts that are available. Um, okay. AWS, Snowflake. Um, so let's take the risk out of it immediately. I mean, immediately by switching platforms, participating in newer technology, let's eliminate this risk. Let's get down to, to, to data analytics and data science and bringing value to the business. Okay. Sorry, there's so much here, guys. I, had, I, I wish I could just not look at the notes. So again, there's the failure rates. Let's eliminate, eliminate that. Let's jump, on, jump in with the newer technology and grow. This is an interesting stat, okay? I want you to look at this. This is very interesting. It is, it is, it is uh, estimated that in America alone, okay, 600 billion with a B uh, 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 dollars in revenue are left on the table by American companies alone every year. 600 billion. Now, the reason for it is that it's, it's data. It's dirty data, misunderstood data clean data that can't be uh, blended because it's coming in structured and semi-structured. So what, what we're looking at here is mining that 600 billion. That's why everyone in this room, you're in a great position if you're working with data and, 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 and reporting because there's a lot of money on the table. Just go grab it, go get it. And I could give you some use cases about this that, that actually make sense uh, afterwards. Uh, but by, by moving to AWS and utilizing Snowflake, you're, you're, you're getting access to the data in the way that enables your self-service BI, your mobile BI, your data science programs, 
and your Agile, uh, your Agile BI uh, initiatives. Okay, so, oh, there we go. So it's, it's, it's time to start claiming the 600 billion uh, and, and get in and, 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 and start mining the, the, this available revenue. Um, yourself, team. All right, moving on. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Let's talk a little bit about helping, uh, helping you with the, the return on investment. So let's talk about Snowflake in general, okay, guys? Where's all your resources going? Where, when you're budgeting, when you're, you're going through your, your forecasting, you know, you're talking about DR, you're talking about your support team, your, your server team, you're talking about your DBA teams, and I love DBAs. I think they're the most important person in the room. I, I'm a DBA by trade. And uh, uh, you know, you're talking about performance tuning, increasing, uh, uh, running out of disk space, uh, jumping through hoops to transform your JSON and, 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 and XML and your semi-structured data. This is where a majority of our time goes today, guys. Wouldn't we much rather bypass that and get into the, the analytics and helping the business and, and, and helping uh, uh, increase revenue? Absolutely. So one, one place for data that's extremely important here. You have your data in one place with Snowflake on AWS, and, uh, and it, it, you have your security localized, you have your ETL localized, you have your enterprise uh, 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 data consumption localized. Second fact here is fast analytics. Uh, there's no limits. Um, uh, you know, you're using standard SQL. Um, uh, stop limiting yourself uh, to, you know, well, I stop limiting, this is, what is the number one BI tool in the world? It's Excel, right? Or yeah, Excel. Everybody loves Excel. So by moving your data into uh, Snowflake, you start to create this enterprise sharing of data. And it doesn't matter. Bring in your Excel spreadsheets. Bring in your JSON. Bring in your XML. Bring in your SQL data, your, your Oracle data. Land it in the one place. Get your business excited. Get, open up the access. Um, uh, Fast analytics, how many of you have slow dashboards? Okay, everybody wants a dashboard and, they, and, 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 and the, the first thing that it, when you create it, they're like, oh, I, I love this. You're great, but it's slow. Well, come to Snowflake, come to AWS where it's elastic and you can uh, uh, basically uh, uh, real time add compute resources or subtract compute resources. So you're getting a fully elastic uh, pricing uh, as well as performance. Uh, management, zero management. Um, this is extremely important because today, you know, how many of you guys out there manage your, your on-prem uh, uh, data solutions or even cloud solutions where you need a team to take care of it and to manage, uh, manage uh, 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 the different aspects of it? Snowflake is entirely in the cloud. It's entirely uh, SaaS. It is the true definition of SaaS. And uh, you know a, a fraction of the cost. This is a big one. So today, so, so to jump in to, to 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 kickstart your big data data program, up until Snowflake came on the scene, you need a hundred thousand. You need five hundred thousand. You might need a couple million dollars. It's a big sell. With Snowflake on AWS, you start small and you scale up. So you have small, quick wins, and then. From there, you scale up your, your not only your, your, your uh, utilization, your pricing, uh, but your relationships within the business as it, as it starts to take off. All right. Do, 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 do. So again, let, let's, you know, with, with these th three or four attributes, let's start to expand what we can offer the business. Let's not be afraid of, of additional JSON files coming in. Let's not be afraid of just land it, do schema on read, immediately develop those reports. Okay. And um, measuring your return on investment. So here's, here's a nine, 10 uh, elements that are tangible that are gonna give you a return on investment that, you're, that you can get your business to buy into that are measurable. Access, speed up your access, be more agile uh, with, uh, with Snowflake on AWS because there is no waiting. It's instantaneous data warehousing. 
uh, uh, sharing. Uh, don't limit yourself to saying, well, group A can't access the data because we're running month in. We're running uh, uh, the quarter end. Actually have separate compute nodes hitting the same data set simultaneously, and you can start saying yes to all your groups. Uh, incre increase your data accuracy by having everything on the, on the same platform. Better your security. Uh, have versioning, blending. Uh, today, in today's world, it's really all about blending, especially uh, with all of the new technologies coming out. Uh, keep your history, offer history on your, with your data science teams. You know, how many of you have data science teams where you, they sample their data? They take a month here, they take a month there, they take, you know, swags of the information. Well, open it up, put it, put it on a, a, you know, a true big data platform like Snowflake where you can give them all of history. And they, they compare their models to the, everything and, and, and improve uh, overall uh, return on investment. So, uh, you know, again, uh, acquisition. Uh, if, you, if, if any of you, uh, any, any, of the, any of you are used to acquiring companies, or your company goes out and acquires companies, acquisition's a big deal. With Snowflake, you can immediately turn up a data warehouse for them. You can offer them access to data that's already uh, in your premise. It's 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 a lot of uh, uh, easy easy to access uh, information. All right. Okay, Snowflake, a better way. So this is my. This is just before we signed the contract with Snowflake. They they um, they had already kind of sold me on the fact that they could spin up a data warehouse quickly. That um, you know that it was a true uh, massive parallel processing elastic uh, uh, solution, and um, and and that it had low maintenance and all of the other barriers, and that it could load all of my semi-structured and structured data. But what what when we went in to sign contracts, I said, guys, listen. If you really want to sell me, this is the, the final part that I need. This is, this is what we're looking for. And the request was, um, we, had it, we, we started, we spun up a new data science team. I said, they want access to all the data that, that our OTT team is getting. Can we give it to them? And, and can it be as fast as, as just like that? And, uh, and again, I got up, went to the restroom, came back to the meeting, and voila. There it is, 20, two, two minutes later, our data science team was up and running with all the data, they, they got all the computing they wanted, uh, and they, they were uh, immediately sold. They're like, we have to, you know, let's sign the contract, because this opens up uh, uh, all of the advanced analytics that, that we want to be doing on the bigger data sets. Um, you know, the, uh, uh, I, 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 when I first heard about this and I started looking at it and playing with it, I, 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 I called it the matrix. It's like, you know, when, when uh, the guy learned Kung Fu in five minutes, I mean, that's literally what's happening here. There is no waiting, guys. Your, your data warehouse is spin up immediately. You're elastic on your storage. You're elastic on your compute. You, you have uh, uh, unbelievable data sharing capabilities. And uh, you can start to think about data analytics rather than data management. It, it takes a lot of the load off of your plate. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> So one, one often, this is what one of the most common terms you're going to hear in your, when you, with your data is, hey, you know, uh, accounting's running month end. Uh, marketing is doing this, doing that. Don't touch the data until the jobs are done. Well, that, with, on Snowflake at AWS, that all goes away. We just simply spin up another data warehouse for that group and say, have fun. Okay. All right, let's talk a little bit about speaking the language of the business. So here's one thing I've found over the years is that I can go in and talk to you all day long. You guys are most, uh, mostly IT and, and data folks, so you would understand it. And I can t uh, talk to you about, you know, uh, subscriptive, predictive, um, a, a, and, and stuff of that nature. And you would understand that conversation, but the business doesn't. They just immediately shut it out. So here's the, 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 the four or five questions that I recommend you ask your business as you, once you get on Snowflake and you open it up and, and AWS and you have the ability to, to offer this to your business, go in and ask these questions. Ask them, what, what, should, you, what should we do? What, uh, what would you do? What have you been doing? Uh, and, and, and identify you know, what it is that they've been dreaming about doing. Because now you have the tools, you have the, you have the infrastructure, you have the technology to let those dreams uh, uh, start to develop. Um, communication is the key. And, uh, and again, it, it, it's, it, you, you, need, you need the technology, get the technology in place, and then move forward with the development. 
All right, here's the, the data-driven uh, 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 secrets that I wanted to share with you guys. And uh, this is a funny slide, and I, I usually show this, and uh, we're in Santa Monica and Hollywood, so this is kind of a, you know, I almost didn't include it, but it's here. We'll look at it. So one of the most important things I found early on in my career, and it's true today, and, 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 and it's why your relationship with AWS and Snowflake is so important, is um, because it's all about starting from the bottom up, okay? The, you, there's a thing called top down, right? You try to do it all and then work your way down and the bottom up. So start small, uh, start with uh, something you can showcase, something that you can shop around your, your company and uh, you have a much greater uh, probability of being successful, but you need the right tools. Again, you have to be on, you need something like Snowflake, you need uh, AWS. Um, uh, so, um, the next is build it. Build something that is unbelievable that this team can go into meetings with and showcase it. And then what happens with, with sales? Sales was, sales was never in because I always want to make a, a 1.5 a two, right? Just, just the way it is, you know. And then accounting wants it to be a 1.5. So pick a team, build it, showcase it, have them look over the fence and say, okay, we're in. We need that in our meetings. And the final thing is uh, be an evangelist, okay? Be, be ready, have, have a deck, have um, uh, you know, your technology stack uh, uh, documented, have a story, have some stories ready. You don't know who you're running to at management or C-level and be able to tell those stories and motivate them. Um, I've, I've been at Lionsgate for many years and I, sometimes they'll high five me in the hallway and they'll go, Kelly, what, you know, what, what you'll be seeing at the company basketball game, you got a great jump shot, but what do you do here? And, and, and so it's, it's important to be able to explain what big data is, what business intelligence is, what data science is, and to give those use cases about how they're being used in, 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 in the company. And believe me, if, if you onboard with, with uh, uh, Snowflake and AWS, that'll be a much easier thing to do. Uh, you'll start saying yes, a lot of yeses instead of no's. All right, we're almost there. Um, I think this is important to know about, about the Snowflake platform. Um, you know, uh, you guys are all familiar with cloud services, and one, one, of, one of the more interesting aspects of cloud services is the fact that when you couple it with, uh, with Snowflake, that you not only get the elasticity of uh, uh, processing and elasticity of, of pricing, um, but it gives you the ability to... to, to, to to say yes to all your business groups, to start, you know, don't limit yourself, do a proof of concept, spin up a quick data warehouse, load the data for them. It's JSON, so what? Load it, do schema on read, uh, and, and get those quick wins. Uh, we talked about virtual warehouses. Um, again, uh, you could spin up a, a, a virtual data warehouse in a few seconds with Snowflake, and you're immediately uh, gonna be a home run with your business uh, and, 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 and and, and, and let them know you're there for them. It's about the business, it's about getting them the data uh, and doing it almost immediately. It's, it's unheard of, quite frankly. Um, data storage uh, is another area. Uh, all these areas uh, are 100% uh, 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 scalable and elastic as we as they, uh, have elasticity as, as you move through the stack. Um, get used to, 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 to saying yes. Uh, reduce your DR. Why? You know, the, reduce your DR efforts. Reduce your, your time to market and and um, uh, and your overhead for management. It's really truthful, truthfully. If you take a step back and you think about this, the days of saying no, the days of saying I can't do that, our team can't get there, are pretty much over. I mean. The, there is no excuses if you embrace the newer technology that are here today. It makes you feel good. It makes like you, the data teams, the DBA teams, the analytics teams, the data science teams, it really puts you at the forefront. It makes you a partner hand in hand with the business as you move to these, this, uh, these new technologies. Um, so it's a lot of yes. It's a lot more of let's do it. It's a lot more of I'm excited about this. I can get that for you. My team can have that for you. Uh, go get some coffee, come back. We'll have a data warehouse up and running for you. Believe me, it, it, it's a, it changes the dynamic of your relationship throughout the, the, the company. Um, the, so I, I'll leave you with, well, I got a few more quick things, but I'll tell you this. The future of data warehousing is here today, and it's called, it's called Snowflake. It's true SaaS. It's 100% uh, it's, it's, it's uh, tr true cloud. 
and, and, and I think that that's important to know. All right, finally, I'll give you a few more quick things here. Um, have a plan. So once you have these great tools, you've, you've, you've implemented Snowflake, you've implemented AWS, start building a, a plan that you can share with management. Say, hey, listen, we, we are now, the handcuffs are off. We can start to build and to design and to dream with the business. Let's, and have a roadmap, develop a roadmap. Now, this is just something I put together as a, an example. It's not an actual roadmap for us, but in general, it's a, it's a, it's a great footprint. Um, all right, so this is, I, I love this slide because it, it's all about data. It's about having a centralized data center, uh, uh, data center of excellence. Evolve your data around something like Snowflake. I don't know of any other technology out there that can do what Snowflake's doing. And allow everything else to, 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 to uh, resonate around it. You know, your ETL tools, you know, some of the great ETL tools out there, the interface, Informatica, SnapLogic, so forth. Um, uh, your Excel can uh, directly access Snowflake. All your Tableau uh, uh, servers can access Snowflake. It's a great thing to have a Tableau dashboard. Or, uh, I think Looker is good too, and there's a lot of things. And somebody says it's slow. Well, guess what? I just, you know, within two seconds, bumped up resources, and now it's, it's lightning fast. You can't do that in other uh, big data platforms. It's, it's quite amazing. Um, uh, uh, open it up for your data science teams. Open it up for your marketing teams. Um, they've been asking for this forever, and now you can give it to them. All right. Uh, and the other, I guess what I'll leave you with on this slide is that we're not just talking about structured data. We're talking about semi-structured data. We're talking about JSON. We're talking about XML. Load it onto one platform. Stop having to uh, make it dispersed and all over the, the company. Get it in the one platform and blend it. Use schema on read and blend it. There's no need to shred it or to change it. Leave it as is. And finally, uh, let's see, what do we have here? Is this, yeah, here we go. I think this is my side. side. Embrace, what's going to happen if you take this route and you start to embrace uh, a, a true cloud SaaS big data solutions like Snowflake on AWS, a lot of things that have been in the queue for you, your team, your company are going to start to come, uh, uh, come to fruition. You're, you know, start your data science club. You know, and, and invite in uh, anyone in the company that has a degree in statistics or wants to learn about statistics. Give them unlimited resources, at, uh, uh, you know, for pennies. Let the data science, you know, uh, uh, have data science contests. Have different groups uh, uh, go through different models and try different uh, solutions. This is all now a reality with the newer data, uh, data warehousing solutions like Snowflake. Um, and I can go on and on about that, but it really, you know, we, we have a lot of interns in from USC, UCLA, and uh, all, all really smart. They're coming out of these graduate programs. I love giving them their own playground. I'm like, guys, go, go do something amazing. And guess what? They do amazing things. They've come back with some models that were like, wow, okay, interesting. Well, open that up. Start to have fun with your data. Okay, that's it. I think I ended a little bit early, but here's my contact information. Uh, feel free to reach out to me. Please go back and try. Uh, uh, f first of all, make sure you contact Snowflake. And, and if, if, I want you to email me if, if, if you need help with that or, or you have questions about it. But it will change your life. It will change your career. It will change what you guys are doing for your company. Thank you. We'll handle questions in the front if anyone has a question.